Hello, my name is Anna Romanenko and today I'm going to introduce you with um, another algorithm of Neurographica that calls lifting inner constraints and we have outdated patterns in our life, in our reactions, in our behavior and it usually stops us from achieving our goals. We not always realize what they are. They hidden usually they hidden very deep in our subconscious mind. And to change and transform them, we first of all we need to see them. So what I want you to I invite you to do to practice this exercise and see how it may change your life. Before we can go, I want you to think about a theme that you want to change, like you want to achieve something in your life, but somehow you self-sabotage yourself. You want to find a new job or maybe you want to be um, in a happy re in safe relationship or maybe you want to stop uh, some bad habits like stop smoking of course if you choose a big theme like a relationship one drawing will be not enough you probably will need to do many many drawings like 10 or maybe even more and each drawing will shift a little bit in your subconscious mind so for example right now my theme will be uh, I live in Seattle area and we have this panic about coronavirus and everybody is anxious about it and I want to transform and any uh, outdated reactions about it. I want to be safe and I don't want to be anxious about it. I want to be feel safe, protected and really be protected because I feel like what you're afraid of you attract to. So today my drawing will be about coronavirus. Yours could be about something else. So now all these emotions related to it, all these um, reactions, and interesting, I have starts already feeling in my body reactions to the theme, even I thought that I'm pretty calm about it. So all this anxiety rela related to this theme, I collect get from my body and concentrate it, like start, start concentrating it in my uh, uh, right, uh, right arm. If you're left-handed, it will be a left hand. And I concentrate it so much till it reached uh, the tip of uh, marker. I use a fine point Sharpie. I prefer sh uh, fine point because you will see it's uh, if it's ultra fine it will be easily uh, to be broken so and now i concentrate ever all my emotions related to theme and on count one two three four i express it on the paper one two three and four if i have if i want more so this mess is my reaction in my subconscious mind. So I brought something out of my subconscious mind on a piece of paper. It's not a problem anymore because it's not hidden. Now it becomes a math problem and just following simple steps I will transform it in something beautiful and I change my impression about my safety, about my protection, about my immune system. So I don't 
use this fine sharpie I prefer to use ultra fine sharpie for rounding corners and we just follow the same steps as we've done before so each corner represents a challenge and I want to transform it in harmony and I start rounding all corners inside and I make bolder all lines my body may start have some reactions because it's not just I am transforming corners I transform my associations with some of these experiences from my past I don't even need to know what kind of experience sometimes I have like flash bags like some realizations like when I was sick as a baby and I was isolated from my parents or something uh, unpleasant experiences and, and I have this realization that like when I was a baby I was isolated from my parents I was nine months old and what is my anxiety about this coronavirus it's not about dying but about isolation separation this is already my insight you will may have your own insights about your theme We just follow this lines and you see like uh, I make them bolder I make them even evenly bold I want energy go um, some of them could be thicker but all of them will be evenly bold evenly black I use black color but because it goes with everything but it's up to you you can use a different markers and sometimes I use different colors I mentioned I use a different thickness of markers so if you want to use a different color it's maybe just a little bit more challenging to have different thickness of that color so this is my pressure about my inner pressure emotional pressure about this theme particular theme so sometimes when we have very painful theme my is uh, not so intense but sometimes you have this very intense experiences like betrayal or if you want to harmonize and find peace about you know some very significant thickness I heard many miraculous stories about changing life-threatening um, diseases sicknesses uh, 
many things happen to me, but um, not about like really thickness, uh, not about really health, like big health issues. I was, I think that I'm fortunate about. But if you have uh, any issues, let me know. Okay, so I'm doing it quite fast because I've just done it many, many times, like hundreds of times. But if you feel You need to slow down. You can stop the video and take your time. The only rule we have, like if you started already, uh, if you activated your subconscious mind, if you already did the catharsis, we call it catharsis, um, don't stop rounding. And at some point, you may feel like, oh my gosh, I'm doing this silly worthless action and it's um, I'm not going to achieve anything just keep doing it it's a uh, you start uh, your brain doesn't want to change change is unknown and you already tried everything to achieve your goal and if nothing really works try this one nothing you, ha you don't have any like agreements with me to continue but it will be just like if you activate it already some areas in your subconscious finish it because it will be hard to sleep it will be hard to uh, take your mind off this theme we need to find at least a piece before you can move forward even if you just do the surroundings it will be already some good result for you you will learn already and harmonize something in your subconscious even just looking at this like you sometimes you think that okay I have this theme like for example uh, I want like, this is just random so if I want for example to buy a car and quite simple action you can find any car you want and it's not but you have this very intense catharsis about it it's already telling you something about your reactions like why why you have so many associations with this car like was you somebody that is uh, dear to you was uh, injured in accidents or your self because it could be simple action but it has this long history that you completely forgot but it still be somehow connected so it's not the purpose is not just remember it but transform this in impressions about your past experiences into some safe and harmonious reactions so we have this and we always try to draw only about ourselves, like about our own reactions. 
I know that sometimes people try to help to others but you can draw a picture drawing make a drawing make catharsis about how actually you can help to these people not everyone wants to be helped be aware of it and why do you want to be so much involved in helping others maybe something more important need to be addressed maybe helping other is just a distraction of uh, from something very important that's hidden inside of you and it's always a challenge just stay not involved in other people's life but it's not just a question about stay calm it's a, a really question about respect to others and they especially to your parents and if you have uh, adult children it's respect to your children as well so I finished rounding everything inside so I have several areas that uh, unfinished lines you see and I just take those lines and continue them as the narrow lines and each wall and this and again neurographical line is a line which does not repeat itself in any part of its movement and we lead it to where we do not expect it to go. Oh, it's a long one. Okay. And from the same point can go several lines. And you see now I have this um, loops that not connected to anything, but they like exist by itself. So I want them to be connected. and I take those lines to the very end of edge to, to the very edge of my paper So this is my pressure inside pressure. It's like a balloon. Like if I have a lot of pressure inside and not pressure at all outside, at some point I will just explode. So I want by creating these lines outside, I want to create even pressure outside. So I have comfortable, like I feel comfortable in the my surroundings and you see that my narrow lines uh, have a different qualities different curves from what is inside and I want it to be a little bit more even so I take one narrow line and just go inside and explore myself and and now we created more corners and we start rounding again it could be almost endless process but when you start doing it you will be surprised how you become calmer like you this uh, creating lines outside is actually um, reaching to people for help 
even just learning the possibility that I can ask for help that I'm not alone in this experience I can add more lines if I feel that some areas of my drawing don't have enough um, pressure, does not have enough uh, lines. I allow yourself to explore myself, like to explore my drawing. I can add more lines and by creating more corners like with each rounding I create this neurographical pattern which is a knot of conjoint lines that is created by rounding the intersections of the lines and the pattern enables the parts to be wo uh, woven into a whole. Just so I integrate this in the wholeness in my brain and I integrate it as a harmonious and safe experience. Like it's already not about coronavirus actually I'm working but it's about my childhood experience that I'm could not even remember because it was like I was nine months old only I could not remember it but this association with this just show up and it's okay if you don't have any associations but you just explore if you have any emotions especially if you have like very strong emotions how deep you can breathe can you even breathe like if you have the difficulty breathing like slow down and consciously deepen your breathing like really bring attention and awareness to the way you breathe okay so I don't like this corners and so I create and I keep creating this additional and I go like sometimes twice or three times over the same line but not exactly so it has this organic uh, sense of roots when they growing so main, you can do as many details as many lines the quality of um, neurographical drawing is depends on how many lines you have if you have many lines it means you worked you really wave on this 
theme into your brain very well. And if I have the small segments, I just draw an oval or circle inside and round it. You can use much smaller piece of paper you to start probably with a smaller piece of paper because it's just hard and overwhelming for many people just to start with something big when you have difficulty to round corners and the more you round the better you get so if you have a situation when you don't see the corners and I've seen adults and kids especially who was um, growing up in a very dangerous environment and many trauma experienced as a child uh, they don't like physically they don't see corners the moment we called it uh, corner represents a ch conflict or challenge, they become blind to it. It's a um, brain trick s to protect you to experience trauma over and over. And at some point of life it's helpful to, but when you're getting older and you already don't f feel so danger like so in danger and you can move forward can change your life to uh, something better your brain still don't see it so the point is not just to see it but how you can see and transform it to something different to something more powerful more beautiful more peaceful harmonious experiences done okay my emotions already more settled I can breathe easier I can um, Straight lines are recognized with our, by our brain as direct order and if we want to change something, orders don't feel safe and we hesitate, we don't like orders. I, maybe there are some people who are, but I personally don't like orders. So I tried to convince my brain that I want to change and I want to change it at speed I feel comfortable. I don't want to force anything. 
Okay, so this is my drawing. If I, if you feel that you need more lines on yours, please do so. Next step, I take color pencils. Today I'm going to use this neon colors highlighters, like the dry highlighters, um, Stadler, and I like the how they just look on paper. And I pick the color and let's do it. And I choose uh, on uh, several areas, like several uh, segments, and I color them together. And when I color them together, I actually go across lines. Of course you can rotate your paper, I keep it steady so it doesn't have any overwhelming sense of motion in your video. Okay. So I can use it as bold as I want. So when you start coloring, just be careful that sometimes when we color, we create this very sharp objects. Like if you, the sharp objects could be very like experienced as a danger so okay so I'll take green one I'm just uh, choose uh, randomly choose uh, is but you can sometimes see right away some shapes that you want. Like many people, when they s just start drawing, like see uh, hearts, see wings of um, butterfly. Or I have a friend; she always see insects on her pictures. Faces. And you may do gradient or shading, what you want to be darker or you want to be even. You can um, blend colors. I usually blend, but today I want to be. faster and I want it to be I want you to experience like what would be the simplest way to draw it. But you can be as detailed as you want. I have my students like from first drawing they do like really beautiful art. Okay, so what is this for? Where does it want to go? On my drawings, I 
love to have a flow. You may leave uh, uncolored areas, and it's um, perfectly fine. Okay. And you always welcome to come back to your drawing and finish it later or make some additions. There are some drawings that um, I was working for several months and I could not like have a drawing um, about my whole life and I came back to this drawing many many times until I um, finished it but I cannot even be sure if I finished it because maybe something will trigger and I want to add something else okay let's do orange color so I don't like this um, green it's a li there is a, some kind of limitation and I found that I haven't rounded some corner okay. usually when you start uh, coloring you notice some areas that are not colored Where do you want to go? For some reason this green is very important color. green flow and let's see if we are talking about flow let's do everything flow I don't want it's a uh, Usually when you start using colors, there is more energy coming. Your whole body may be activated. I uh, like invite you to pay attention what is going on with your body. How do you feel? Do you have 
sometimes energy is so strong you can have a mild headache because we are talking about transformation your body will have some reactions but I will invite you to not try to suppress it like observe it, experience it allow yourself to feel this discomfort because if you don't transform it it will be hidden until it will be developed in something like in chronic disease and allow yourself to take care of it right now this is an interesting see how there is like layers yellow pink and orange and it doesn't really make much sense to me right now I cannot make any sense out of my drawing but it doesn't it actually doesn't matter if I make if I have any sense out of it or if I don't and I feel like I want to express more this green color this green color gives me some kind of hope and it's um, of growth and development so I need a sharp but see I like this uh, unusual shapes of um, of lines and colors it's um, big fishes are swimming around okay what else do I want I can add more like with uh, these lines I can do color some lines so it would be more connected okay. okay and I have this you see there is like a bigger shape here and I want to really it's like I can see it so easily I can do it see because it's a round shape like on um, not perfectly perfect circle but it's um there is a roundness in it it gives me sense of harmony sense of uh, peace and protection And wherever I created new corners, I round them again. This uh, roundness gives me sense of security, sense of safeness. And whatever is safe is um, 
beautiful. Okay, so highlighters need some sharpener, so I will use some different colors, other colors, and other colors will be. Let me see. So first of all, I want. Many colors. Okay. This exercise like really can change your life a lot. Uh, for two years I just did this exercise for different themes. Every time I travel I do it before traveling to make sure that everything goes smoothly. And I travel a lot so everywhere I go I have my notepad at small size much smaller than this piece of paper and I have my roll of pencils and some sharp sharpies and it's a uh, and never get boring like you can do it on plane or in airport or even if I like in the car waiting for a child from some activities okay. so I have this big fishes interesting what are these fishes trying to tell me Maybe they just try to tell me just keep swimming. Okay. So I like this different. different colors of blending and I want to do some more coloring here you see some of my pencils are very small Different green, but I want it to be balanced. So this is like you can take as much time as you want. You can come, as I said, like you can come back to the drawing many times, and you can come back it much later or. It's not necessary, you need to finish everything today. You can do it later. This green. Maybe just try to tell me that I need to eat more green and drink more water too. You know that if you eat greens or vegetables 
like most of the vegetables. Um, you viruses really don't live in the in your like it's much harder for viruses to survive if you eat fresh green. Reminder. Okay. So I think there's something needed here. But I don't know yet. Maybe it will come later. So, before I f can finish, I want to show you one more step, well, actually two more steps. Um, we don't exist in the, u in the world just by ourselves, we exist with universe and we want to be aligned with universe. Universe is much more powerful than yours myself at least so i want to be aligned with the universe so i take a thicker um, sharpie and i just find a line that can go and create this big wave big wave that universe vibrate and i align myself with the universe I want to be at the right time, at the right places. And I want to be... I want to feel connected to the universe. And it's... Uh, you will see when I finish aligning, you will see how it really gives you the sense of direction, sense of... Um, structure sense of purpose of movement okay um, if I don't uh, have the line I can create a new one I prefer to use as many as possible already existing lines but I can create new ones And I use usually from the left lower corner to the right uh, top corner because it gives me the sense of growth, sense of development. So I want to be stronger. I want to be more supported, feel safe and aligned with the universe. I want to make it so we can make even bolder lines, but I want you to be aware that they need to be integrated in the whole picture. So if we created new corners, we round those corners again. So every time we add something, we make sure. And if you use a different color for the uh, these lines, you can call them divine lines, field lines, uh, s special blessing, universal lines. You want them to be integrated in the whole picture. If you want different colors, it will be just harder to integrate. Like if you tried different colors, like for example, if all my other lines are black, you can use a um, dark blue. So it a, has a different color, but it's a easier to integrate. It will not be too um, 
radical because you can align yourself with a universe but it could be quite a drastic experience we want to be as gentle as possible even to in forcing ourselves to be harmoniously aligned with the universe so it's like sounds um, silly but it actually makes a lot of sense to me to be gentle we want to be guided not forced we do not force anything we want to be guided there will still be a free will okay you see how it's uh, this stronger lines they have like a bigger wave they have more powerful wave you will have this enough attention to finish it and I highly appreciate it for your trust but this is like really it may change a lot it's a uh, um, not just the drawing it's a uh, deep emotional work with your subconscious mind big transformation I experienced such a powerful um, insights during this uh, process not even today I have this I did not realize that what really triggers in me this all the danger about uh, coronavirus okay and if you want you can make more lines I have two and I think it's uh, enough another thing that like if you see some shape that gives you sense of harmony and something that you want to remember it could be circle or it could be any any shapes you can you can um, make it bolder you can go and just I don't want it to be too bold but for some reason this oval looks important to me like I want this to remember so whatever you want to remember from your picture like what is the most important and again if it's created some uh, sharp angles you can do color uh, you can round this okay I probably will come back to this later because, uh, if you have your drawings and want to hear my feedback about it I read I'm certified um, near a graphic instructor and I teach this method at different organizations to adults and kids so if you want to see my professional opinion and opinion of a healer 
you are welcome to um, post your drawing and some description of your experience during the drawing underneath and I can give you what could be changed or could be not changed but what should you pay attention to on your drawings maybe something needs to be um, added or maybe you need to be um, be aware of something that you are not see because it's hard to see some obvious things on your own drawings to change the system you need to be out of the system and that's why I'm like usually keep the drawings and come back to this later when I don't have such a strong emotional connection to this so it was in Romanenko so it was my uh, exercise about I'm trying to see the focus about um, lifting inner constraints exercise leave your comments and questions below the video and I cannot wait to give you another exercise hopefully soon thank you bye